Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to work out the angles in a quadrilateral when the angles are given as expressions in terms of x. So in this example here, we need to work out the size of each angle. So the first thing we need to do then is add the angles up. So if we write these across one line, And we're going to make this equal to 360. This is because angles in a quadrilateral add up to 360. So we've made this equation here. We're just going to simplify it first. So we can add the x's together. So x add 5x is 6x. Add 3x is 9x. Add another x is 10x. Adding our numbers up. 40, add 10, add 20, add 30, that gives us 100. So a simplified equation is 10x plus 100 equals 360. So we now just need to do the inverse operations to work out the value of x. So if we take 100 off both sides, that will give 10x equals 260 and then divide both sides by 10. So 260 divided by 10 is 26. So our value of x is 26. So we can now substitute this into the four angles uh, to work out each one. Okay, so let's start off with angle A. So angle A is x add 40. So that's 26 add 40, which is 66. So that is angle A. Angle B is 5x plus 20. So again, if we substitute 26, so 5 times 26 plus 10. So 26 times 5 is 130. Add 10 gives us 140 degrees. Uh, let's do angle C next then. So 3x plus 20 is angle C. So that would be 3 times 26 plus 20. So 3 times 26 is 78. Add 20 gives us 98 degrees. And finally, angle D, so that's x plus 30, so 26 add 30 is 56. So these are our four angles. So you can check that these add up to 360. Let's see if we're right. So we've got 66 add 140. Uh, add 98, add 56, there you go, so it equals 360, so we know our answers are correct. So if you like this video, like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time guys, bye bye.